Happy Halloween, everyone, and welcome to another Metal Gear Solid V FOB event guide. I have to admit, I expected to see the skulls for Halloween, but I guess Bound Dragons is equally scary. The Bound Dragons FOB event will last for the next two weeks, ending on November the 13th. The mission tasks are as follows. Neutralize three security guards. Fulton three security guards. Neutralize nine security guards total. Shoot the weak point of a UAV at a range of 60 meters or more. Infiltrate successfully. Infiltrate with no kills and no alerts. Infiltrate with a staff rank bonus 1.01 or higher. That means no snake and no custom character. And infiltrate within 480 seconds or 8 minutes. We're going to be bringing along the Grade 1 Wind Ruger Silent Pistol. We're probably not going to use it, maybe to turn some guards around, if if anything, but we probably aren't going to use it much. Uh, make sure to add the extended mag here. And we're going to put a grade 3 suppressor, or the best you have, on there. And I'm going to make it the same color as my camo. You don't have to, I like to do that, though. And, um, like I said, we're probably not going to use it, but it's very cheap to bring along, so why not? We're also going to bring along the S1000 Air Shotgun, grade 7. Um, I'm going to leave the stock on there, that's fine. The muzzle's fine. Uh, we are going to bring a better suppressor with us, though. Uh, dot sight's fine, flashlight's fine. Might as well put a laser sight on there. And we're going to make it the same color as the Wind Ruger. And uh, again, if you don't have the Grade 7 available to you, bring the best you can. It might take an extra shot to down a riot suit guard, but you're still better off having it. Uh, with you, even if it is the weaker version. And last, we're going to bring the Grade 5 AM MRS 71 sniper rifle with us. This is going to be for popping those UAVs. The uh, barrel it has with it is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and put that 75 rounder mag on there, why not? The stock is fine, the muzzle is uh, also going to be fine. Uh, muzzle accessory, definitely want to put on that uh, Grade 3 suppressor. As always, we're going to put the RF scope 2 to 8 times zoom on that. Uh, might as well put a flashlight on there, why not? The laser sight it has is fine. The underbarrel foregrip is fine. And we're going to make it the same color as our other two weapons. And uh, there you go. That is what we are going to be bringing to this FOB in terms of weaponry. Today we're going to be invading the base development platform. We're going to be dropping in here at the default location they drop you at. Now we're going to be bringing with us that uh, Grade 7 Air S1000 Air Shotgun, or the best you have, the Grade 5 AM MRS 71 Sniper Rifle. I'm also going to be bringing that uh, Wind Ruger Silent Pistol Grade 1. I'm going to be bringing on along a Grade 5 Sleep Grenades, Grade 3 Smoke Grenades. And magazines, gonna get a lot of use out of magazines. We're also gonna bring our grade 5 night vision goggles and our grade 4 Nocto Cyanin. And we are going to bring our weakest wormhole Fultons. We're gonna need just a couple of them. Now we're gonna be bringing along uh, a uniform that says metal or concrete in the description. And most importantly, we're gonna be going as a staff member with a staff rank bonus of 1.01 or higher. So Obsidian Jaguar works perfectly for this. And as always, make sure to drop in at night. Now from the start, run, 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 run up the set of stairs here, and we're going to want to go just until we can't anymore, until the invisibility wears off and take a dive. Uh, we're going to be significantly slower here as a staff member, that, but that's fine. We've got plenty of time to tackle this. Um, just go ahead and take in your surroundings here. Go ahead and try to mark as many of these guys as you can. It's uh, always good to know where they are in relation to you. 
and uh, we're just gonna just gonna keep keep on here, nice and steady, nice and slow. Alright, here, I try to see if I can stand up, but oh no, it's an immediate soft spot. This is pretty typical of this one, so I mean, this is this is just what you gotta kind of kind of expect here. Um, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna come all the way over here, so let's put a little bit of distance between us before uh, before he gets too much closer. Now we're gonna go ahead and just start throwing some distraction magazines out. Um, just uh, just a couple, just to get all these guys nice and turned around. Again, always marking, always looking, always trying to spot uh, guards that we might not have seen the first go around. We're actually going to take and uh, take a break here for just a moment and do a little bit of marking. We have a pretty good vantage point from here on the third platform. Uh, definitely get a get a few guys spotted. We've even got a pretty decent uh, vantage point on the last platform here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get a couple of guards spotted and try to locate the UAVs. There's going to be two of them. There's always two. We didn't know that guy was that close. Um, that's fine. Let's get him turned around. So there we go. And again, nice and steady, just nice and slow. This isn't a race that... Uh, well, it's not a very demanding race. I mean, you have plenty of time to finish. There's the UAV. Okay, so there's one. Uh, we can stand up. We'll go to a crouch for this next one, see if we can spot it. There, up oh, there it is. And I see we got a lone cargo container over there. I must have uh, forgot to grab that during my last run, but uh, that's fine. We can We can pick it up here. So start getting those mags out, start getting people turned around, uh, misdirected. Again, always marking, always looking, always trying to find new people. We can take a Noctocyanin now, uh, just to just to see who's around. And uh, things are pretty clear here, which is definitely good. So we can go ahead and get our sniper rifle out and uh, see about popping one of these things. So wait for it to slow down. You want to aim right about for the green light, and boom, there you go. Oh, they definitely heard that. Okay, let's quickly finish off the second one. Yeah, they know something's up. Uh, some, you know, sometimes we can do this quietly. Sometimes we we can't, but that's that's fine. You know, I like to I like to keep this type of stuff in to show you that it is possible. You can. You can make a little bit of a ruckus, and you can still get out of here unscathed. It is very, very possible. So we're going to throw down some smoke grenades to give us some cover, and throw on our night vision goggles, get our sleep grenades ready. As you can see, they're sort of bunched up on the left over here. So let's go ahead, give them a few sleep grenades. This is why we got them. And uh, that should take out that cluster of five or so. Let's uh, start giving his their, their buddies some. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, he's he's done. There's his buddy over there. Just do a soft lob. Get that over there. Oh, another one coming down. He can have one too. Uh, be generous with these, you know. This is this is the last platform, might as well. Let's get this uh, container out of the way. Didn't anticipate that being there, but you know we're doing this live. Stuff like that happens. Um, is that a, oh, there's another guy over there. Let's give him uh, one of those, and uh, let's go ahead and get our extractions in while we can. Uh, those will be all our last two right there. Someone else in the area? I feel like someone else is in the area. Oh, yep, we got one other guy. Well, he gets our last one, he gets the consolation prize there. And uh, that's that's pretty much it. We're done. We just got to exit here. But um, I'm not sure if there's anyone else hanging around. So we're just going to take it nice and easy. Again, no rush. We've got plenty, plenty, plenty of time. And looks like we're in the clear here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to a stop for a second here and check. 
All right, the last four will pop as soon as we leave, so let's just go ahead and walk right out the door. Infiltration successful. All right, that's the Bound Dragons FOB event for the next two weeks. I know it seems pretty intimidating, but with a little bit of practice and know-how, it's, it's actually not that bad. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Please do throw me a like and a subscribe if you can. Everyone out there have a happy and safe Halloween, and until next time, have a good one.